So today I'm sharing with you lip swatches and also a mini review on the new NYX Intense Butter Glosses. So first up is number one, Napoleon. Napoleon is a bright tea rose pink color. While it is a bright color, it's definitely still wearable and it will just give your face an extra pop of color and add a little bit of punch or a little bit of brightness to your face. And then number two is Berry Strudel. This is gonna be a legit royal purple color, very bright. Now these NYX Intense Butter Glosses are the same texture and same scent as the original butter glosses, the non-intense ones. So if you're familiar with those, these are gonna be the same scent, same texture, so it's a very sweet, almost like frosting or cake batter, not cake batter, more so frosting scent. So number three is Toasted Marshmallow. This is a mauve purple color. I think this is gonna be one of the really popular shades because it's just, it's wearable and it's just a really flattering color across the board. While the texture and the scent of the glosses are the same as the original ones, these intense butter glosses are gonna be more pigmented and offer more of a color payoff as the name would imply. <laughs> number four is Orange Sickle. It's basically a really true orange color and here I'm showing you how it applies so it's very pigmented but you got to be a little careful I definitely recommend a lip liner under the brighter colors especially and the dofa applicator or excuse me the applicator on the intense butter glosses is a little different than the original ones it's just more of a flat a little bit longer spongy type tip applicator as where the original butter glosses do have just a regular standard doe foot applicator. I find that the new applicator works perfect for the more intense pigment of these lip glosses. Next up we have number five, Apple Crisp. This is gonna be your standard blue undertoned, just your basic true red color that's gonna look good on a lot of different people, a lot of different colorings, and that extra blue tone in there is gonna make your teeth look extra white. <laughs> so there is Apple Crisp. I love the names. They're all like super delectable and really yummy sounding and it makes me really hungry. <laughs> and then number six, Six is going to be chocolate crepe. This is going to be another one that's super popular, I think, just because it's really neutral and wearable. Chocolate crepe is a deep beige color. It is a nude, but it does pull quite a bit of brown in it, as you can see. And I am showing you here how, how it, they apply on the lips. I thought that would be good as far as knowing how, how application goes. So there I am just applying it on my lips. And like I said, you definitely would probably want to do a lip liner under some of the darker colors just because the darker colors can seep out and bleed outside the lip, which I will show you here in just a little bit. But there's chocolate crepe. Really, really love that color. All right, moving on to number seven, banana split. This banana split color is a pastel peach color. So it's very much orange, but it's not as wham, bam, intense or vibrant as number four, the orange sickle color. So this is banana split. Not one of my personal favorites on me, but I think would look beautiful on deeper skin tones for sure. All right, moving along, number eight is funnel delight. This is gonna be just a very true hot pink color. So I'm just gonna show you how it applies. Of course, I'm taking my time and being a little bit precise for the video's sake and just showing you how it builds up. And I like the wand, how it's smaller and it lets you get into those corners of the lips. So I really do enjoy everything about these. There's really not a lot of bad things to say, except I wish there were more nude colors, I suppose, but that's just me. And then number nine is Sorbet. Sorbet is a baby pink color. And honestly, this one was the most patchy and separated the most out of all of the colors. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but I did take notes when I filmed this video and it was super patchy, kind of separated and kind of went into the fine lines of the lips more so than all the other colors. So just keep that in mind with this one. And then number 10, black cherry tart this is going to be a deep vamp purple this one you definitely absolutely would need to use a lip liner it, this one did bleed outside the lip lines 
obviously because I'm not wearing a lip liner so I definitely recommend a lip liner for sure with any dark color any product that's a dark lip product I recommend a liner so there is black cherry tart see I'm showing you here how I don't know if you can see but it did kind of seep out of the lip line and it bled out a little bit so lip liner if you didn't catch that yet I recommend a lip liner with the dark colors and also mentionable is the formula of this it's not sticky it's not tacky it's very smooth very satisfying on the lips so moving along to number 11 tres leches sure I'm saying that wrong that's fine this is just a really true nude color so beautiful I think it's gonna be super popular and these glosses they do come in 12 different colors and they do retail for six dollars and I know you can get them at Ulta online NYX cosmetics online and I'm sure they'll be popping up where NYX products are sold also and then probably at in Ulta stores as well and then number 12 last one in the collection is spice cake this is another one of my favorites I just think it's a really flattering it's a deep plum color a little bit of pink hints in there and I just think it's beautiful and has that blue base that makes your teeth look more white <laughs> so I just really love it so there are the glosses you guys so I thought I would just show you guys a close-up of the applicator here like I said earlier it is just a longer straighter version of the original butter gloss so it doesn't have any curve to it which I, I quite like how they did it like this I find that because the product is more pigmented it's it makes it a lot easier to get into the smaller parts of the lip like the corner of the lip where my lip in particular is a little bit thinner just makes it a lot easier that way so here's a swatch to show you the pigment of it it is super super pigmented I don't think you can go wrong as long as you pick a color that you like and there you go so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye